Hi, welcome back everybody, me Robert here for another short video. Are you wondering how to make calls to your APIs in the ABAP environment with Postman? Well, I recently figured this out and I thought it would make sense to share this with you. So if you like this content, consider giving a like and subscribe. And if you want to get early access to new videos and priority replies to your comments, hit the join button below. Now without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, I've split my screen. On the left side, you can see Postman, and on the right side, you can see my SAP PTP cockpit. I've opened my sub account, and here you can see my ABAP development environment. In order to be able to access your ABAP environment from Postman, you need to have a service key in your ABAP environment. I will create a new service key here for the demo and I will delete it right after the video so that there are no security issues here. I create a new service key by clicking on the three dots here right above my head and then I hit create service key. Here I have to enter a name for the service key. I enter for example postman and here below my head I click on create. This will create a new service key. Once the service key is created, I click on it. Here we can find some of the relevant information that we need to connect to the ABAP environment. So first you can find the URL to your ABAP environment here. We copy it and we paste it uh, to Postman here. First we have to create a new uh, request here and then we paste it here. But of course you need the full path to your service, respectively to your API. And you can get this, for example, in the Business Application Studio from the manifest.json file of your Fiori app. Here you look for a sub.app and data sources. And within the data sources, you find the main service with the URI. And this is exactly what we are looking for. So we copy this and we paste it at the end of the URL here uh, in Postman. Then we can try to click here on send, but of course this will not work since we do not have the required authorization yet. So what we will do now is we click here on authorization here uh, in Postman and as authentication type we choose OAuth 2.0. Now we can scroll down to configure new token. Here we can enter a token name, for example, Postman. As grant type, we choose authorization code. As a callback URL, we enter HTTP localhost port 8080. Then we scroll down a little bit more. And here we need to enter the authentication URL. The authentication URL we can find on the right hand side in our service key. For this purpose, we scroll down here in the service key and we find the UAA key. Within this UAA key, we find URL. Please note that this is not the URL from above here that we entered before, but this is a different one. So we have to take this one here, we copy it and we paste it in the out URL field here on the left side. But please note that we have to add the following here, forward slash out and forward slash authorize. And then we copy the same URL here on the right hand side and we paste it to the access token URL field in Postman. But this time we have to add the suffix forward slash out forward slash token. Then we look for the client ID in our service key, which is below UAA here as well. And we copy the service key and we paste it on the left hand side into the field client ID. Next we find the field client secret on the right hand side. 
and we copy it to the field client secret in Postman. Then we scroll down and we click on get new access token here in Postman. This opens a new browser window where you can enter your SAP credentials. Once you've entered your credentials successfully, you get this response. And then the access token is displayed to you. Now you can click on use token here. And this adds your token to the section current token here above in the subsection use token type here. Now you can try to click on the send button here above again. And this time you can see that your request was successful. In my case, this is an OData4 service with the entity set ZC video here and the metadata here. So we could now request the metadata of this OData4 service by adding dollar metadata here. This gives us the metadata of our OData4 service. Or we could add the entity set here, ZC video, and enter. And this would get us the list of the videos in our OData4 service that we created in the last videos. So that's all for today. If you like this content, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and also the notification bell below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.